And you might as well support community charities with your purchase. Mm -hmm. Big Al is out in Roseville looking through the patch for some pumpkins of his very own this Hallow's Eve. Huh? Yes, yes. Hello there. Listen, we're here in Roseville at St. Clair's Church uh, in the parking lot, just uh, right behind Baseline. You can just uh, pull up and just grab a pumpkin for your own. But I, I, there's so many different types of pumpkins I'm learning, uh, obviously, from Michael Marks. He's been putting me up on game. And also from Anthony and Jim from the uh, Knights of Columbus. And thank you guys for, for having us come out and, and check this out. Thank you for having us, Al. All right. And, and the first thing I got to ask is, what are those right there? What's up with this pumpkin right here? Explain yourself with this. It's amazing. Yeah, those are uh, one of our decorative pumpkins. They uh, got shipped from New Mexico. Uh -huh. We worked with a, uh, a company called Pumpkin Patch Fundraiser. Okay. And they actually work with a lot of uh, churches. Uh, and all of our proceeds will go to uh, char charities in need. So 100% um, of what we earn goes back to the community. Yeah. yeah. So, was, uh, I was going to ask you, like, exactly who are the Knights of Columbus and what, what do you guys do? Obviously, you guys do lots of charity things, but who are the gentlemen of the Knights of Columbus? So, the Knights of Columbus is a world, worldwide organization that uh, uh, promotes uh, our values of faith, uh, charity, unity, and fraternity. Uh, we help uh, foundations su such as the Sacramento Life Center, Special Olympics. We served uh, lunch at the Special Olympics back in May, that, that, those type of activities. Yes. And you know, there's so many different types of pumpkins, and sometimes you guys kind of work on some pumpkins yourself. Uh, Sean is kind of showing a couple of things there, but I'm noticing you guys have pink pumpkins. What's going on with the pink pumpkins? Yeah, the pink pumpkins are really popular. We have a lot of them left. We actually started with green pumpkins, and those sold through in the first Ooh. couple of days. Um, so I'm hoping if people can drop by, they'll have an uh, opportunity to pick up some of these large pumpkins as well. Uh, we noticed that um, because our location isn't as popular yet, this is our first pumpkin patch, and okay. we're hoping to go bigger and better next year. Um, there's a lot of opportunity in uh, variety here, this very large pumpkins and some interesting ones as you've shown. Absolutely, and Jim, I mean, I, I can. This this campus is massive. We were we parked in the front and then walked to the back, and it's like walking a whole city block around here. But you guys are selling pumpkins not only back here but also in the front as well. Right, in the front of the church, as you exit out of the church, we'll be selling the, those uh, all, all day today till dusk. Nice, nice. So families can still come in and pick up their pumpkin, and are they, can they can they work on pumpkins here, or is it like you buy them and bring take them home, and then you work uh, on them? Buy them, take them home. You yeah. can uh, uh, work on them at home, and we'll actually be open uh, till October thirty first. Okay, uh, for... okay, perfect. So, is there um, the types of um, charities you guys follow? Um, what what type of charities you guys uh, work with? So uh, typically, uh, all of our charities that we work with are just charities in need. We just find the ones that uh, that match uh, the church as well. And Seymour has specific ones uh, that he remembers yeah, on top the of his head. Yeah, the came to my Sacramento Life Center we work with and uh, Special Olympics, uh, uh, the one that was held down in uh, uh, Folsom in May. Uh, we were heavy participants in that, serving everybody lunch. So those, not just uh, uh, supporting them financially, but with our time, uh, uh, donating our talents uh, to the community. Awesome, awesome. Hey, there's still some pumpkins left. Come and get your pumpkin today and tomorrow right here at St. Clair's Church, right off of Baseline. The address is on the screen. Come and get your pumpkin. And, hey, you might want to take one of these uh, these rare pumpkins right here. Back oh. over to you guys. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a nice color, too. I like that one. Yep, yep. All right. Thank you, Al.